Welcome to HSC Economics Made Easy. Today we're going to look at the influence that the exchange rate has on the trade balance, or box. I'm going to present three explanations for this link in varying levels of detail. I'll be offering a simple explanation, a comprehensive explanation, as well as an extension concept. Okay, let's get into this. So what would happen if the dollar depreciates? Simple answer is this. The Aussie dollar depreciating would cause increased international competitiveness of Australian products. This would lead to an increase in export revenue. This would also decrease import spending as overseas products become more expensive for Australians and they'll prefer domestic products. This leads to an improvement in bogs and conversely, an appreciation worsens bogs instead. Now, most good students are expected to understand this, but if you wanna be an outstanding student, the least you can do is differentiate between the short-term and the long-term impacts. This brings me to my second explanation. The J-curve is a good model to use to add depth to your explanation. Here, we'll plot the bog's balance over time as a result of a depreciation. The immediate effect of a depreciation is that our loss of purchasing power causes the same volume of imports to be more expensive. This causes an increase in import spending, which worsens bogs. However, in the long term, our volumes of imports and exports will adjust to the change in international competitiveness. With a depreciation, this means we'll buy more domestic products and less imports, and also be able to sell more exports, improving bogs. Obviously, the opposite happens with an appreciation. In the short term, BOGS improves as the same volume of imports incurs less outflows. But in the long term, we lose international competitiveness, sell less exports and end up buying more imports. It's an upside down J-curve. Most band 6 students would be able to include this much depth. But to help you stand out, I'm going to show you an extension concept, the Marshall Learner Condition. This concept takes into account the price elasticity of demand for exports. How does this build off what we know about the J-curve? Well, let's look at what happens during an appreciation. What's supposed to happen is that our exports get so expensive, foreigners stop buying them. But what if they really need our exports? They'll buy it no matter how expensive it gets. So no matter how much our dollar appreciates, we'll keep receiving export revenue and BOG stays positive. This illustrates the Marshall Learner condition, that the long-term effects of the J-curve will only happen if the demand for exports is more price elastic compared to the demand for imports. An example of this is 2011. This was a very special year for this topic because three different stats aligned. The terms of trade was at a record high, the Aussie dollar was so strong it overtook the US dollar, and BOGS was at a surplus. This correlation was no coincidence. China needed Australian minerals, so they kept buying it regardless of how high the price and the Aussie dollar appreciated. And that kept pushing up BOGS and the Aussie dollar. This is possibly explained by the price inelastic demand for minerals, demonstrating the Marshall Learner condition. So these are three different levels of analysis for how the exchange rate impacts BOGS. I hope that my explanations have helped you get to that brain blast level of understanding and made that band six easy for you to attain. If this video has helped you, please leave a like and comment and don't forget to subscribe and share as well. And I look forward to continuing to make economics easy for you.